Today, we are starting something pretty cool. A completely new project in this world, not that we don't have any other projects to work on. I just like new things, you know? But first of all, there's something we need to take care of. It is December, Christmas is right around the corner, and I usually set up a tree in this house. Now, the last tree I set up was over here. I think this was, la yeah, I set it right here last Christmas. It was a pretty tall one because this is the tallest area in my house. I forgot to put that chandelier back. But you know what? I'm gonna go back to the olden days, not because I don't wanna build a big tree in there, <laughs> but because I wanna do it just like the old times. Put up our little tree right here. Question is, do I still have it? Should be up here in the attic. It's ugh, these trap doors, man. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah. What of it? Are you making fun of my tree? This is my Christmas tree. It's my favorite Christmas tree. What do we got here? Camping gear. I think I gave up the camping life after I've lost so many dogs. 2017 Christmas decorations. Okay. Wow. Those are quite the decorations. Snowballs? What for? Is there another one in here? 2021 Christmas decorations. Ooh. Ooh, I think I'll like these more. I always forget what's up here. Treasure map. What else we got? More maps. Oh my god. I forget those are up here. I need one. Old chests. Unused maps. Oh. Huh? Huh? Look familiar? Don't act like you're not impressed. I think at one point we did put a beacon on top, but it would look a little out of place for this one. I'm just going to throw... Oh, you can't put that up there? Oh, come on. How about a good old end rod? Will that work? Yeah, that works. You can slap on some item frames for ornaments. Don't worry, I'm almost done here. We just gotta throw on some ornaments. You know, I didn't think of that. You can go around and grab round items in the game. They'll go good as ornaments. How about a goat horn? A totem of undying? Maybe even a heart of the sea. How about an emerald? A nautilus shell? XP bottle, bell, and even a fire charge. I'll put presents under it later. We got some business to take care of. Just now realized that is the same exact shape as a diamond. So, if you couldn't tell already, we are going to design or attempt to design a very old dragon skeleton. This is also something I've wanted to attempt for a very long time. It's just hard. As you may already be aware of, we have made a dragon skeleton, which is this one. It's supposed to represent the end dragon. And this is a moderate size. This is close, a little bit larger than the actual one. But oh no, no, we're not gonna be making it like this. It's gonna probably be three to four of the times the size of this, and we're not even gonna use white. I think I'm probably gonna go with granite. So the hard part starts now. I gotta go to my creative world and try to design this dang thing. Actually, first, I need to cover up the rest of these patches because this is where we're going to be building it. Oh god, I'm so scared. What am I getting myself into? Okay. <laughs> I just spent the past hour in my creative world designing this dang thing. This is no easy task. Holy smokes. I want you to drop everything you're doing right now, pause this video, and go into your creative world and try to design a dragon skull. It's not easy. It's really not easy. <laughs> At first I wanted to make it out of granite, but then I switched to diorite, and then I just ended up on quartz and the bone block, because that just looks the best. Plus I like having the bone block in it. I'm gonna build it here, in this spot. Um, I'm gonna build the skull first. The rest of it's somewhat easy, but I got this. I got this. Please tell me I have quartz. Thank God. Oh wait, I need smooth quartz. How do you make smooth quartz? What? Don't tell me you put it in a furnace. How do I have no coal in my toolbox? Oh wait, that's what my emergency box is for, right? I totally have coal in here. Of course not. Ew, you do put it in a furnace, whatever. We're improvising out here. No judging. Okay, so I'm starting to build it. I almost started building it. I built the whole bottom part on this level. I'm like, wait a minute. I want this to look like a dig site. So obviously we want to look like it's been slightly dug out, but it's gonna be halfway underground still okay so there's the bottom jaw i'm going to fuse in the horns with the bottom jaw here and the top of course gonna go here and i think i want it to have a nose horn too whatever those are called 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's taking shape now. Like my little horn. And also I'm giving the mouth enough space to add in dripstone, actually, because finally we can use dripstone for something else. We're gonna use it for teeth. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Tail needs to be a little bit longer. I'll probably curl it around there some more. Look at that. I got the spine made. I'm currently trying to make the tail from the looks of it. I do probably should make it a little bit longer, which I will do. But it got me some bones. I don't have a lot of bones to my name. I am poor in the bone game, but I want to go throughout it and replace most of the solid blocks with bones. Simple as that, because it'll make the color very little more like that. And obviously it needs a bone block in it. I mean, these are bones after all. If I need more of these, I guess I'll go to a soul sand valley and collect some from there. I think the teeth turned out pretty good too. I like how that looks. In the dragon's mouth. This is what it looked like outside his eyeballs. I love how menacing the skull turned out too. It looks really mean like when it died. <laughs> okay, so one thing I'm really doing to help me is to hold this map in my offhand because I was using my rockets to fly really high to look down at it, but that got pretty old pretty quick. I just built the hind legs as you can see. I think it turned out all right. Tried to make it look like they have some talons on them. Looks fine to me. I'm just getting the basics of it out first and then I might run through and beef it up in some areas. So next I'm gonna do the front arms and then I'm going to lay out the wings. And I think the wings are gonna be pretty big because as you can tell, this is a big dragon. Work continues on the dragon. As you can see on the map here, I got the wings and I really like how they turned out. Um, I'm not completely done with them. I'm going to excavate around them the dirt to make it look like we are slowly getting rid of it. And you know what? It's funny that I'm doing all this because remember the whole update they were going to add where you could find ancient artifacts within Minecraft. You could build that new tool that can feather away dirt. Oh, I loved it so much. I would dedicate this whole world around that. I would just turn it into one big archaeology research program. <laughs> it would be so fun. Too bad we don't have that stuff to add into this right now, but we will make do with what we have. So I'll probably put like shears around here and other tools. I'm still iffy on the hind legs. I might mess with them a little bit. I'm beginning to build the front legs. As you can see on the map, it's yellow in some areas and white in other areas. I stood up my skeleton farm for a little bit to get a lot of this. I'm slowly getting rid of these and placing in bone blocks. Oh, I love the sound of bones on here. Okay. I believe I'm finished with my masterpiece. I can't believe I got it done. I, I looked at this as like an impossible project. Oh, I love how it turned out. There's gonna be parts in it that could really use work. Maybe the wings, for example, I could add more detail in them, but I kind of like it like this because maybe all the smaller bones, those have disintegrated. And I could chop it up and like make it look like some areas are disconnected, but I didn't really want to do that. I want to have a complete skeleton here. I threw in some slabs right here to represent the ribs, but that's the best I could do like that. I tried using a diorite wall, but it connects to most of the blocks. Just didn't work out. I like how it turned out. It looks good. We've got the wing over here. I made the front arms. You can look at it on the map. Oh, this too. <laughs> I made a little dig site. So got little tents set up, some barrels, a workstation. Maybe we found this in the stomach area. Got some bones laid out. I'm gonna go get some normal bones for those item frames. And that's what it looks like on the map, which I think it looks so darn cool. <laughs> I think the wings look the best in this. I think I still want to mess with the tail, but I don't know. I actually just think it looks great all together. It's finished. Now, of course, this terrain could definitely use some work. It's just all coarse dirt right now. And you know what the best part about placing all this coarse dirt is it gets rid of all the grass below. So when I get rid of the coarse dirt, it still stays the same basic color. There she is. It's a fun project. I'm going to go work on something else now, though. Okay, moving on. I could take this road. This road leads to the bamboo, but I'm not gonna lie, this isn't staying here. I know, I pour <laughs> I'm mad at myself for it because I poured a lot of work into this. I actually went back to a previous save hoping that most of the bamboo wouldn't be here, but I saved quite a bit after I finished it. Honestly, the real reason why is it just doesn't feel like the correct spot. 
It just feels weird over here. And it's a little bit too close to home. So off in the direction where we built my dragon skeleton, I am going to build a bamboo biome out there. And I'm gonna do it proper, it's gonna be pretty nice. Plus, when I tear all this down, I'll have all the bamboo in the world to do it. Anyway, if we follow this trail here, this trail is actually pretty old. I made this to go out to this desert biome over here, but I just added on this section right here. This leads obviously over to our ancient crypts entrance, and I have been working on this mainly as you can see, this area got this hallway going. This is a bigger hallway, but this is an even bigger one. And I like how this looks. Once I get this room finished, I might make these walls a lighter color so you can see these statues a little easier. And I think I'm going to put water down here. But this leads to a smaller tunnel. And at the end of this tunnel leads to a staircase and comes up right here in our crypts. Now, the next big expansion of our crypts. Wow, it's dark right here and the area where I'm moving the donation wall. We're gonna come back down here and then there's gonna be a random staircase down this way. We're gonna come down here and it's also gonna go down a little bit more down this way. And this is going to lead into a giant, and I mean giant room. It's gonna be huge. And what it's mainly going to be holding and the only thing it's gonna be holding is a bunch of tombs. I want this to look like this is where an army was buried or something like that. But on each of these tombs is going to be the new donation wall. Instead of doing it up there, we're going to move it down here. This will give us a lot of space to work with and I think it will show you guys off a little bit more in this world. Now of course the people who get these tombs will still get a villager throughout my world. That's just a pending process right now because villagers can't even be put in boats or minecarts right now. It's really irritating me because I really want to get that going. Oh man, my tools are not looking good. It's always so weird. Invisible XP over here. It's gonna be a little bit right here. I'm oh, not this time. There's gonna be some back here in this corner. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be some over here. <laughs> okay. Gosh dang it. Bob, did you leave your llamas behind again? This is getting annoying. So nostalgic coming up here. Why is there three of you up here? Jesus, I'm just, I have to kill him. Can't leave him here. Need to hurry. Okay, storage. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I need something from here. What do I need? What do I need, Dallas? What do I need? Toolbox. Yes. Slime staff. I'll come back to this in a minute. I think it's thunder. I heard, I heard, think I heard a thunder. I heard a thunder. <laughs> uh, it's not night time. What? Oh my god! I haven't seen one of you guys in a while. What the? <laughs> it is thunder. Hey, nice. Oh, you know. Uh oh. I don't want to do it over here. No man's land. This is where it's done. Just wish these phantoms would go away. This is what I need. You. There'll be one skeleton, but it's worth it. <laughs> what? Seriously, did they like boost the damage from them guys? I mean, I know I'm not wearing a chest piece, but I'm wearing netherite helmet, boot, and leggings. And I was, I wasn't right next to them. Dang it, I had a lot of levels. I was about to enchant. I, I forgot I put a locator compass. What are they called? Recovery compass in there. That's a good idea. Good thinking, Dallas. How's my armor? Oh my god, what? I have iron armor in there? Okay, I gotta change that. I'm gonna put diamond armor in there. Man, no man's land is literally no man's land. And I was thinking, I really want to mess with this place some. Like these bones right here, I don't, I'm not a fan of those, to be honest with you, because they don't make sense. Oh, that's a cre What? Did I die by a creeper behind me? I think that's might have what Did that happen? And then the charged creeper died. No. I'm not making any sense. Charge Creeper needs to blow up to make mobs drop their heads. Oh, well. It's weird. Everything just stopped spawning. No, hit the pig. Come on. Oh, thunderstorm went away. Figures. Activate. I like this here. It looks like someone was trying to spawn the wither but died. Maybe it was me. We're going to have to get rid of these ugly trees, too. These are just... I don't even know how I allowed this. What is that? I want to make this place look more war-torn. You know what I mean? Just like a place for battle. I want to put a stockpile in here. I want to bring a bunch of arrows just in case I need some. 
I actually I want to make this a proper battlefield. Maybe even make some broken down tanks out here. I don't know about tanks though. I'm still deciding that because it seems a little out of place for my world. Maybe over in the lab area, but not over here. Protection. 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 Whoa, whoa. Yo, that is some. Okay, that's what needs to go in my recovery gear. Kind of forget what. What the? <laughs> I forget what's in this place. Gosh, there's so much. So I got my nether gear and my explosives gear. Oh yeah, I gotta fix these too. This is where we were making it go down to that secret armory, but we got rid of that. Anyway, this is what I got so far. This is the very, very beginning of this massive build. So for example, when you walk in the door here, I'm gonna have a pathway right down here. This is one tomb, but they're gonna be lined up. I'm probably gonna go five or six more that way in both directions. And in this direction, probably like 10 to 15 more tombs. So you can only imagine how big this place is going to be. But as soon as we get to a center point, which I'm going to decide in between episodes, I'm going to make a nice centerpiece with a bunch of candles. And this is where I'm going to put the new lecterns at. This place is going to be lit up very nicely. And this is a place just to dedicate all of you guys who decide to support my channel. It was fun coming here, but it's time to expand the place and make it greater. So, I'll have the new dono wall ready by next episode, and then I will catch up on all of them because I've had a few new, very generous donations to the channel. Because you guys are freaking amazing, and I don't know what else to say. I don't deserve all of you guys. <laughs> Today's comment question comes from Garen Sanford. If you could choose another hobby slash passion you could pursue as a job, what would it be? Slash. I messed up there. Know what I'm going to do? I'm not answering the question yet. I'm going to create a parkour course around my house on the outside. So when I start answering questions, I have something to do. What gave me the idea is this. I always run by here and jump up these lily pads. I kind of want these to be the start though. So I'll probably have like trap doors in some areas around my house. I'll try not to make them look too out of place, but I think it would be so fun being able to like parkour up the side of my house. But for the job, oh man. I have so many interests in life, like, I'm still at that point where I could pick so many different things and I'd be happy with it. It's kind of nuts, like, I should just, I'm at the age where I really need to settle down with one thing. And I'm kind of getting to that point, but if I had to pick one that had no limits whatsoever, it'd probably be like an actor or director. Kind of like Ben Affleck's scenario right now. He's pretty popular actor and he's kind of turned himself into a popular director too i just think directing and writing a film would be so much fun and i bet it's a fun job to partake in too in the filming process so yeah i think that would be my answer what about you guys at this point in time what is your all-time biggest goal in life right now i don't care how old you are yeah you you have that one goal in the back of your head what is it i'd like to know let me know your thoughts down below i read all my comments but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here everyone thank you so much for watching today's episode much appreciated i'll see you in the next one Bye bye